The three-day novel contest rules dictate that the novelist must start Saturday morning at 12.01 a.m. But the event began early Friday morning for many of the contestants, some of whom had come from out of town. Six of the riders arrived early to get a glimpse of the competition, living quarters and challenges, and were interviewed by Edmonton's breakfast television host, Bridget Ryan. Hey, Stacy. Hello, everybody. We are here at Chapters just off Calgary Trail on the south side of the city, and we're talking about a fantastic event which Book Television is going to be televising. It is a three-day novel writing contest. kicks off tonight at midnight, and this has been a huge search to qualify to be one of the 12 novelists. To reach this point, our finalists had first been chosen as semi-finalists from over 150 lengthy applications. Then in July of 2006, they competed for a spot amongst the final 12 against 32 others in a rigorous set of interviews and early tests of their ability to write under fire. So, you think you can write a novel in three days? Yes. I think I can, yeah. I think I can try. Well, then you should be able to write a short story in three minutes. Three minutes? <laughs> yeah. Without a computer, with a pen. Do I have to actually finish the story? So how do you think you did? It's something. I don't know how good it is. I have a start. This is good. It's a masterpiece, obviously. After weathering the first tempest, the novelists found themselves broadcasting from an Edmonton bookstore on an early September morning. First of all, a little bit about your writing history. Have you ever written a novel before? I have written a novel before. In fact, this is my fourth time doing the contest. Okay. I have a novel out that was published in 2000. Right. So I already know what that's all about. I have three books out for uh, children and teens, and I've been working on full-time writing for 10 years. What's your mindset then? Are you, are you intimidated? Are you excited? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of you know, pent-up anxiety. Uh, right now before going into it. You know, but my background, I'm a classical singer and I, I think I'm accustomed to the pressure. I think I can take the pressure. I'm, I'm feeling okay. Yeah, I don't think I'll achieve a novel, but you know, you never know. Oh! <laughs> what? We believe in you! Look, you've got your competition saying they believe in you. I believe. But the only problem is I'm a poet. That's my discipline, right? So I'm used to writing short things that, you know... Just write a really long poem. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> sounds good. I'm also a poet, but my, my first book of poetry I intended as a novel, and it became poetry. So just so write a book of poetry. Write a poetic novel. Beautiful. While the crew assembled the writing area, the novelists were hit with a pair of demonstration challenges, a short writing test, and a word jumble. All right, here's the first word. This is the first team. We split them up into two. I'm going to turn them over. And uh, you, the viewers at home, if anybody is any good at this game, then uh, play along. Me, I stared at this for 10 minutes and couldn't figure it out. Holy moly, did you see how fast you got that? We are so fortunate right now to have one of the judges with us. Just fresh from your own novel. Yes, actually, in s the reviews have come out, so I'm just ready to punish people. <laughs> I am absolutely just willing to do that. Could you write a novel in 72 hours? I did one. It wasn't a good one, but I did it. <laughs> but having all of the all of the challenges and stuff, that's going to be really hard. Did you stay up for the entire 72 hours? I didn't, and I made a huge mistake. I drank beer <gasps> sort of halfway through, and that just wrecks it for everyone. This is a very inspiring spot, apparently in the fiction section, which is so appropriate. There's a ghost. Rachel apparently has seen the ghost. Is this correct? Yes, it is. No, are you? I got I, I would swear, but are you? Are, are you pulling my leg here? Not at all. In fact, well, I've seen what the ghost does, and its books go flying off the shelves. The vacuums unplug themselves. Um, it's creepy back there. You would swear that this has actually happened. Yes, I would. So, yeah. who is this ghost? This ghost, we believe, was a fellow co-worker who unfortunately passed away in a car accident not uh, a few years ago. And she was a dedicated book lover, especially in the fiction section, and she does not like it when people mess in her store. Is it only nighttime? Is there any way she would come now if we did something to... Well, we just had books fall over right over there, so... You are kidding me! Did the employees here have goings-ons with her as well? Yes, and we did lose a crew of cleaners <laughs> because they uh, <laughs> had too many things happen. Terrible. So, uh, yeah, especially on that side of the store, so uh, I wouldn't want to be sleeping here. But, like it or not, they would be sleeping there. That evening, all 12 novelists arrived at the South Point chapters in time for writer's boot camp. They would finally meet each other and learn more about the writing environment while speculating about the three judges. 
Minister Faust, Jen Farrell, and Todd Babiak, as well as the enigmatic 13th machine. I think we'll just do a quick tour because not everybody will know where everything is. Obviously, this is sort of the big writing area. Has everybody seen the bunk bed area? So this is it? You excited? This is the challenge competition area. This is we'll be holding challenges. We'll have one here tonight at 9 o'clock. You'll be using the regular customer's bathrooms. And I'll show you where you can smoke if you smoke. For those of you who haven't figured out exactly what the 13th machine is, it's a machine connected to a projector that will display whatever you're writing on the big screen for everyone to see. Now, once a day, each of you has to uh, type on it for two hours, no matter, you know, sort of how you feel about uh, people looking over your shoulder, okay? Now, let's get your machine set up and then we'll get you settled into the bunkhouse. After the machines were set up, the writers were given just enough time to make their beds and settle in before the start of the preliminary challenge. Oh, us. <laughs> I just spent a lot of time on trains. <laughs> yeah, I went to summer camp once. I lasted two days. Writing, whether it's my own or the writing of other people that I'm editing, has been the major part of my life for the last 14 years. I am very obsessed with writing. Writing is who I am. I started writing when I was five. I wrote a play about some gypsies. <laughs> I've made my living at it, so of course it's important. It's what I do. It's my bread and butter, it's my profession, but it's also my, my passion and my recreation. I started writing when I was in the third grade after I read Charlotte's Web. And then when I was in grade three, I won a national contest. That was the Ron Writatron 2000. Writing is the only thing that I know I can do really, really well. You know, my holiday this year is going to a, a, a writing boot camp in Nevada, and I travel all the time to perform my work. It's what I'm doing. It's what I've decided that uh, I'm going to do. So it's, um, it's why I do everything else, so that I can sit and write. Up next. The idea of the challenge is a little bit intimidating. So you got three minutes. The reason I want to do this is that we live in a culture that values competition more than creative act. And book television is offering an opportunity to combine those things. And that's part of the attraction. I mean, I'm never, you're never too old for a new experience. And, and the, the entire freak show aspect of the entire uh, you know, event is going to be hilarious to, to witness. I think it's just be cool. I'd love to sleep with 11 other people. <laughs> I'm not much of an outdoorsman, and I'm not a rodeo rider, so this is the closest thing to extreme sports that I can do, given the skill set that I have. After everyone was settled, it was time for our first challenge, and time for me to finally meet our riders. Goodness. Hey, y'all. I'm Kim. How do you do, Kim? I'm Catherine. Ron. Hey, Ron. Hello. Timothy. The first of our challenges is to write a 25-word synopsis of your work. So, you've got three minutes. Okay, you ready? On your mark, get set, 